It's October, so let's take a look at 10 games I think you should look at kickstarting this month. Coming in uh, up first, these are ordered by when they're going to be finished. You've got 10 days left for uh, back Ice and Idols from Inside Up Games. Designer Matt Hansen, artist Edu Vallis, two to four players, 60 minutes. And this is a got a really cool rotating board with an ever-changing board inside of it as well. You're venturing through this maze to try and pick up and deliver idols. Uh, when you deliver the idols, you're going to get some points over here and powers uh, from your cards and all that stuff. Uh, you've got a hidden player power too to dictate how this is supposed to actually flow, which is really cool. So I want to give that a check out. From Button Shy Games, we have yet another new micro game. Here you're going to go and draft cards in a clockwise order, which is really cool. And then you're going to build your town uh, and then you're going to score based off of the scoring cards for that game. That's two players, 15 minutes from Steve Romani. Hey, Divine and Paul Kolka from out of Japan is Snow Planner New Season. This is an expansion, but it's also a reprint to the Snow Planner game that came out earlier this year from designer Akashi. One to four players, 120 minutes. And it is a cool dice placement game akin to kind of Castles of Burgundy. However, without the rolling, you're actually just going to level up your dice. And they've got these cute little dice. The idea is that they embody a bellhop. There's 20 left days left on parks and potions from moon saga workshop designer chris eastridge artist alan gomez 30 minutes this is a dice chucking game to get resources those resources you then have to convert into other resources which you then get to use for pattern matching to score points uh might be a little fiddly uh with all of those steps you're gonna have to go through and the and the um, amount of randomization that is here uh so we'll see how that plays out nature from north star game studio one to four players 45 minutes designer dominic bruchette and Catherine Hamilton, artist Catherine Hamilton. This is a re-implementation of evolution. So if you're already familiar with evolution, this is the same thing going on here. It's just a resource management card game uh, with multi-use cards. Split the Horde, I did a preview on. This is an I Cut You Choose uh, game where we're gonna divvy up all of the Horde that we got from Slaying the Dragon. And it's got varying player powers, uh, varying card powers, as well as varying point scoring. Um, also set collection going on in here. So you've got 23 def days left to check that out. Eagle Griffin Games is back with another Vita Lacerda you know, tool uh, piece of art and game. This time, Vita Lacerda has introduced Pick Up and Deliver, so I think that's a neat idea here. Not so keen on the theme, though, uh, but if the heavy Vitals are for you or you're just a Vita collector, this is the next new big box that you need. This is a game I'm really excited for, The Treasure Ship of Zhang He, also out of Japan. This is uh, being illustrated by a famous uh, Japanese illustrator that did all the gun comics. Uh, and animations. And so this game feels like a mashup of Francis Drake and Endeavor, um, adding in some pirate battles. So each turn you're going to influence some officers that are going to help you uh, go down your trade ship is kind of like Endeavor. And then at each spot that you're stopping, there's actual action selections that work and there's pirates all along the way. Um, so you know, excited to give that a look at. Launching today is Citizens of the Spark. Another card game. Uh, it comes with a lot of re replayability here because you're going to use seven of these animal cards at once. And so they've got a nice cool artwork there. Reminds me of Vincent Detroit, but it's actually uh, by someone else. Uh, and so this is just a card collecting game. Every copy of the card you get increases the value of the card, but it's also got a follow action. So if you follow your um, opponent's card, you can use the same card and get that power as well. Then coming out at the end of the month is Sweetlands. Uh, this is a big heavy Euro that's a kind of like a combination of Castles of Burgundy uh, and Terra Mystica. You've got your own little uh, player board here that you're gonna build out your own little town, cover something up, get that get that good, uh, make a route building thing in here with your bridges uh, to reactivate tiles and stuff and score points and build buildings on those tiles to score points. You've got a player board that has uh, your production values on it. This is actually a two piece player board. So you're actually gonna slot in this character into this player board. So that's really cool. Uh, and then you're going to put all your buildings here. And so there's all of the resources you need, et cetera, to build all of these huge big wooden buildings. And it's got a massive central game board as well for the actions. So uh, take a look at that. That is 10 games for you to check out this month. Make sure you check me out and we will see you next time. Go buy some stuff.